Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally going to a touch of Disney. It is currently 8.35. They don't usually open the harbor side entrance to downtown Disney until about 9.45 or so. So I'm hoping that everything goes smoothly. We can make the queue. Everything goes smoothly. I, I really hope so. <laughs> but uh, today, we're not actually going through the tram route. I think I'll be doing that on Sunday on my second visit. Today, we actually ended up parking at, at Best Western Plus. It's only $15 to park here, and honestly, this is right across the street from downtown Disney. So this is probably like your best bet if you don't want to walk too much. All right, so we just crossed the street. It literally took like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. Maybe I think the light took longer than the walk. <laughs> so this is a good alternative if you don't want to park and Mickey and friends. All right, so it's currently 9.03 in the morning, and the line for Harborside is super short. It's probably like, I don't know, 30 people maybe, which is really shocking. Uh, it's usually busier on a normal day for downtown Disney. All right, guys. So we finally got through security. Uh, they let us in through the gates like at, like at 9:45, and then they let us through security like at 9:50. Now we're making our way to where I guess the queue's gonna be, so we're gonna end up waiting there. So it's blocked off over here. So it looks exactly how it did on Monday. So what I really want to see is on the other side what it looks like over there. So they actually have the barricades put up. So this is just separating the event from downtown Disney. There's already people lining up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make line too. So before we make line, I wanted to show you guys this. Look, they have new banners inside of Downtown Disney for the Touch of Disney event. Look at that. And then they have one over there too. All right guys, it is 1018 and they finally put the rope down and they're letting us walk into the Esplanade. We can currently make line on one of the available distancing markers. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get one uh, in the front. This is so exciting. Like, it's not only cool that we're here, we're also here with uh, Nick from Park Hopping Doe. Yeah, what it, it, It's not just cool being here, it's also cool being like one of the first ones in here. Look at this. Yeah, no joke. So cool. It is super cool. The gates open. That is so exciting. We're not being let in yet, but the gates are open. All right, guys, we just made it into a touch of Disney. It's at a Disney California Adventure. And look at this entrance. This is awesome. Look at this. Oh my God, the bubbles, the waving, everybody looks so happy. This is awesome. We've already gotten our Touch of Disney map as well as our dining card. So our first tasting is going to be the uh, strawberry rose lemonade with the edible flour in there and the what was it mac and cheese carbonara with bacon in it? I, this, I can't wait to try this. This is delicious. You can see, I already started sipping out of it. That's really good. Highly recommend this, especially on a hot day like it is today. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but this food is actually from the Golden Dreams food booth. So let's go ahead and try the mac and cheese. Wow. That's really good. The bacon is like super crunchy. I like that, and then like the the cheese is nice, nice and melted. Look at that. This is really good. I recommend both of these. You guys, next up we have the Monte Cristo, which you can find at Smoke Jumpers Grill. It's got ham and uh, turkey and cheese. And as you guys can see, it's deep fried. Uh, Chris and Shay have already tried this, and they both say good things. I think so. I'm really excited to try this now. All right, Chris, what do you think? It's really good. I just wish there was a sauce with it, but other than that. Amazing. Yeah, I think it's supposed to come with a sauce. That's what Chris was saying, but I don't think they uh, they gave it to us with that. Five out of five, but share it. Don't don't try and eat the whole thing by yourself. All right, you guys heard it from them. Let's go ahead and try it. It's pretty good. It's just it's kind of sweet. I actually like this. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. I recommend it. Yeah, guys, this is definitely good. I'm not sure where that sweetness is coming from, but it's good. It all works together, honestly. So that food was delicious, but now we made it over here to the Delish booth. Here we are. So we're actually going to get the farm stand lunch. That looks delicious. And they're actually here. Look, we're, we're waiting for, I think, a couple more because we're all actually going to try it. So try right can't now. wait to try it. It looks really refreshing and it's, it's kind of warm out too. So that's going to come in handy right now. All right, guys, so here we have the farm stand punch. Now, it says it's supposed to have a glow cube, but I guess you have to purchase that separately. I know uh, a friend of ours, Chris, he actually bought it separately, but let's go ahead and try it. Let's see what we, let's see what we think. Cheers! Take your drink. Take my picture. 
That's pretty good. It's it's like really sour, especially because like I, I took a sip right next to the the lime. It's pretty good though. I actually enjoyed it. It's really refreshing, like on a hot day, like I, like I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, I still think the the strawberry rose lemonade is better. It's like it's a lot sweeter and like more refreshing in my opinion. Now after trying that drink, I'm kind of hungry. Thankfully, one of our friends, uh, Shay, I think her Instagram is the Disney Pixie. She was able to get a reservation of like nine. So because of her, we're gonna actually be able to eat Lamplight Lounge today. I'm really excited for that. Really quick before we go in, I wanna show you guys this view, look at that. I know the sun's like ruining the video, but it's, that's so awesome, look at that. I'm having such a good time already. It's also a little hard to see from here, but look, way off in the distance, you can see Pluto dancing. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh man, so far we've seen Max and Goofy. I wasn't able to film them because uh, they were going in as I was coming up, so I didn't get a chance to film, but, but I'm definitely gonna try getting them on camera for you guys so that way you guys can uh, see what they're doing too because they're, they're like dancing and acting so goofy. <laughs> All right, so we just... Oh. It's not bad. We're finally making our way inside of Lamplight Lounge. This is actually a first for me, so I'm really excited for this. We have a pretty big group with us today, so it should be a good time. We have Timothy right in front of us. Hey, Timothy. Yeah. Hey, F on YouTube. <laughs> Let's go. I'm really excited. Look at this view. Oh my god. Check out this Lamplight Lounge coaster. This is so cool. And then when you flip it over, you actually get two QR codes. You get the menu in English and in Spanish, which is really helpful. So if you guys want to scan it on the on the screen, you can. Sorry. And then you also get uh, an actual paper menu. That's how it looks. It's really cool. It looks like a coloring book. <laughs> Yeah. Your We're not definitely alcohol. gonna get some type of drink though, for sure. I mean, I so, I'm not sure what's good here, but so I have seen place. some drinks like on Instagram like in the past when DCA was originally open. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get, but I'll let you guys know what I do end up getting. So we haven't ordered food yet, but we did order this Mickey's Fun Wheel, which looks amazing. I'm not sure what's in it because it's a secret menu item, as Chris was just telling me. Uh, but it looks good. I like the colors. Uh, it's supposed to have like three different layers of colors, like beasts. Let me see if I can zoom in over there. This, this came out a lot better than mine did, but I'm still excited to try it. I'm excited to see That's really good. It's pretty strong too, so I'm sure like one of these is like more than enough, honestly. So one cool thing you can actually buy over here at Lamplight is the collectible coins. These are $8.99 for two. So what you do is you just ask your, your server for these. You tell me you want to buy the coins and they'll bring it to your table. And mine just arrived. So let me show you guys what they look like. Why did it get so windy? That is so cool. Look at that. Thank you. The fact you get two of these is pretty cool. I mean, it's $8.99, which is, I mean, I think it's kind of expensive for like two coins, but it's, it's a cool like souvenir though, for sure. I want to read that. Um, oh. All right, so our food just got here. So let me tell you guys what I got. I got a cheddar burger with, uh, it's a grilled custom One, two, burger blend three. with cheddar, roasted tomato, red onion, and avocado Perfect. ranch spread on a toasted Amish <laughs> bun served with malted fries. This cost $22. But well, it looks really good, in my opinion. Looks really good. Look at these fries. Look really good. So the burger is honestly delicious, and same with the fries. I've never had malted fries before, but that is really good. I, I really recommend those. All right, so just finished our delicious meal from Lamplight Lounge, and we decided to come over here to to the adorable snowman for a dollar because I actually have it over here. And originally it says right here that this is from Tiki Juice Bar. So, you know we had to get a, a, a dull whip, so I already bought it. Just gotta go pick it up now. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, the dull whip, that looks so good. So I decided to come over here by uh, the Incredicoaster because it's like a nice, like, secluded spot. Uh, so let's go ahead and have our first dull whip in like over a year. Oh my God. That. If you guys are coming to Touch of Disney, make sure you guys get a Dole Whip. I got in a cup just because I don't want to get like you know my hands all sticky and stuff. But uh, yeah, a cup's like a safer, a safer way to eat this. But that's delicious. I honestly wish I could like give you guys some. Like so good. All right, so now we're gonna walk around a little bit. We've been eating a lot. We went to Lamplight Lounge. We had a few uh, things to eat before that, and then we had a Dole Whip right now. So I'm, I'm like, I'm stuffed. 
Uh, so I think we're gonna walk around over here. Uh, we might even go to Bing Bongs. I want to get my wife a couple of cake pops. Uh, they have like the cool up ones over there. So uh, her favorite movie or our favorite Pixar movie for sure. So we gotta get those. Look, there goes Bing Bong. I wonder if he still smells like cotton candy though. I honestly don't smell anything. I don't know if it's because we're wearing the mask, but I don't smell cotton candy anymore. All right, guys, so I was really hoping to find the the up inspired cake pops, but they currently don't have any more. They only have this basically the same stuff you can find in downtown Disney. Uh, this rainbow, this crispy tree is pretty cool though. That's nice. I think you can. But I think we're not gonna get any of this stuff. I actually called my wife and she didn't want any of this. She only wanted the the up cake pops, I believe. So. We're coming back on Sunday, so maybe we should make a quick stop here first to try getting those. So we decided to come to Emotional Whirlwind because I think Timothy was actually telling us that Sadness was out here, but she's currently gone, so this is the next best thing. Yeah, she like literally just went away right now. All right, so we look back and Joy actually ended up coming out, so that's pretty cool. Look. I'm glad we got to see at least one of them. It wasn't sadness, but we got joy. <laughs> Guys, check it out. Look, it's Minnie Mouse. She's going away, but that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. That was awesome. All right, so in Minnie's place, they have Daisy now. Look at that. All right guys, so we actually saw Mickey entering the elevator, so he's about to come down right now. You're gonna get a really good shot of Mickey right now. Look at that guys, that's awesome! He looks awesome in his outfit, look at that. Bye Mickey! That is too cool. That was probably the best character, uh, I guess you say meet and greet. It was, it was more like a walk by, but yeah, that was probably the coolest experience ever. So quick update over here at the Legacy Pass Holder Corner. They actually open from noon to 6 p.m. So they're currently closed. If you come after 6, you will not be able to get your button and your magnet. So just something to keep in mind when you guys do come here. So there's something I want you guys to know. It is 6.50. We have an hour and 10 minutes left. I've been here since opening, well, even before that. And honestly, I feel like time flies when you're in here. You're having so much fun. You're eating stuff. Like, yeah, there's, I feel like eight hours is not enough. Oh, look at Daisy over there. She's waving at us. That's awesome. Alright guys, I came down to this area though, so I can show you guys the views. Look at that. This is beautiful. This on its own is definitely worth $75. To me anyways, I mean, not, maybe not for everybody, but definitely for me. And the fact that we do get food, that's, that's honestly a bonus. See, this is what I'm trying to say. For $75, you get so much. You get all these type of views, photo ops, food. And I don't know, I feel like $75 is like a good number. The only thing I wish that they would have done is, is honestly, like if they were gonna charge $25 for, for parking, they should have made that optional. So like, if you don't want to park in Mickey and Friends, they should have gave you the option to, you know, deduct the $25 and let you park wherever you want. But anyways, we're currently making our way to Cars Land. Uh, we have like, I don't know, 45 minutes left of the event. And uh, there's actually a character over here, check it out, like, like they have Max, that's awesome. No Goofy, sadly, I wish he was here so you can use that, that fishing pole, but this we got Max. Oh man, walking through Cars Land at night, this honestly is, is awesome. This is probably the coolest thing to see here. Well, this and, and uh, Pixar Power Round for sure, but yeah, look at the lights, beautiful. Look at the cozy cone. Look, everything is so well lit. Flo's V8 Cafe looks really, really cool. But my main reason for being in Cars Land right now is because I promised that I was gonna FaceTime my son so he can actually see Lightning McQueen and Mater because he loves those characters from Cars. Hey there, I'm Mater. Like dumb Mater, but without the jump. Like I was saying earlier, this event is definitely worth it. Uh, they're not selling tickets anymore, so it's not like I can tell you guys you guys should definitely come, but I mean, if you guys already have tickets, you guys are definitely gonna come anyways. But I will say though, uh, I, at first I kind of had my doubts, but honestly this, this event is pretty cool. It, it's pretty cool. I just, the whole thing with the parking, I feel like that should have been like optional. That $25 should have been optional, honestly, but whatever. But uh, if you guys want any tips, park on Harbor or Simba. If you guys must walk through the tram route, then park at Mickey and Friends. But the whole opening time thing, it's kind of like a iffy thing because they, they say 11.30, but they open at 11.10. So, 
I don't know. It honestly probably depends on what day, how busy it is, and how many people are trying to go. So as far as like a tip, that's the best I got for you for that. Uh, night shots, definitely go to Karzan. It's beautiful. I loved it. And then for sure, go check the pier. It's beautiful over there too. One more thing I will say is I kind of wish they had like some type of specialty merch, but they didn't have anything. No face masks, no nothing. Basically all the same stuff we've already seen at World of Disney. So I didn't even go through the merch to be honest because there was nothing new, so. Like right now I tried to find something for my son and I found, I, I mean, I actually got him like a old Lightning McQueen plush, but I mean, he liked it. I, I FaceTimed him and he, his face like lit up. So it was pretty cute. But uh, anyways, I think it's gonna be the end for day one. I will be back Sunday the 21st. And yeah, I guess I'll end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.